All right, my dear students, this is ARD, your accounting coach. And the topic that I brought for you today is control account reconciliation. Now, before going through reconciliation, you must go through the my basic concepts topic for control accounts that you may know what does a control account means and what is a sales ledger control account and what is a purchase ledger control account. Now, if you have already gone through the basic concepts that are being tested in all levels for control accounts, you may now move further for your studies uh, in control account reconciliation, which is basically part of AS level accounting. So now what does the mean reconciliation? Reconcile means to compare or to match. I hope you have already studied the topic bank reconciliation. So in bank reconciliation, we also need to reconcile our bank account with our records and with that for the records that are kept by the bank. Now in control account reconciliation, we uh, also do some sort of reconciliation, but not for the bank account, but for the control account. Now let's see uh, what happens in this. Now there are two types of ledgers basically, uh, if we are talking about sales, one is sales ledger and one is general ledger. Now basically there are three types of ledgers. One is sales ledger, one is purchase ledger and one is general ledger. In a sales ledger, there are separate accounts for customers. There are individual accounts for debtors. All the individual customer accounts are in sales ledger. All the individual supplier that is creditor accounts are in purchase ledger. And all other accounts for sales and purchase and uh, return inwards, return outward, cash, bank, asset, liability, income, expense, all accounts other than individual customer and supplier accounts come in general ledger. Now, right now I'm talking about sales ledger and general ledger and we are not discussing purchase ledger right now. The concept should be the same. Now, in my example, in the sales ledger, we have three customers. One is Mr. A, one is Mr. B and one is Mr. C. There can be so many customers that whom you sell goods on credit. Now, there are three customers individual accounts that are need uh, to be made in sales ledger. And in general ledger, we make a combined account of all of these three customers known as sales ledger control account, also abbreviated as SLCA, sales ledger control account. Now, individual accounts are made in sales ledger and combined account for all of these customers are kept in a general ledger. Now, if you may think for a while, why do we make the hassle? Why do we have to make two separate sets of accounts? Uh, now, the answer is simple. We need to keep check and balance in order to prevent or minimize the chances of errors and fraud. Something that is intentional is known as uh, fraud and that is unintentional is known as errors. Now, in my example, there are three customers, Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C. For example, we have T account for all three of them and we have some balances in the accounts. Mr. Uh, Mr. A owes us $100, Mr. B owes us $200 and Mr. C owes us $300. Now, there are three customers. Now, what do we do? At the end of the period, we make a list of debtors also known as schedule of debtors or schedule of trade receivables we make a list of all these t accounts one is mr a whom we are asking hundred dollars mr b need to pay us 200 and mr c needs to pay us 300 now if we all add all of these mr a mr b and mr c the total becomes 600 now uh, all of our customers owe us 600 in total now, what do we need to do in a general ledger? We need to make a separate account of all these three uh, uh, um, combined account of all these three customers known as SLCA. Now, SLCA balance should also be the same uh, such as list of uh, debtors. Now, if both of these balances matches, so this means our accounts are all right. Now, the sum of Mr. A plus Mr. B plus Mr. C should equal to ABC because this sales ledger control account uh, contains the balance of all three these three customers. 
and this individual list of debtors is being made from individual T accounts. Now, if both of these balances, that is list of debtors and SLCA matches, this means uh, our accounts are fine altogether and there are no errors or fraud chances in it. But if sometimes there can be a situation that the balances of these both of two did not agree. What balances I'm talking about? the balance brought down of sales ledger control account and the total of the schedule of debtors that is list of debtors if both of these do not match this means we have a problem somewhere and we need to take a closer look into this problem and we need to correct these errors now let us discuss the examination format uh, uh, in order to solve questions, we can uh, just see that what format is expected by the examiner to solve such type of questions. Now, in an examination question, we need to make two things. First of all, we need to make an updated sales ledger control account. Uh, maybe sales ledger control account or maybe a purchase ledger control account that is for suppliers. And the sales ledger control account is for customers. So we need to update or make an amended control account uh, now how can we make it the balance brought down would be given in the question or firstly the examiner may ask us to make a control account first then we need to update it so the, the balance brought down we need to calculate it or it's already given in the question now there are some errors and adjustment need to be made we'll be discussing that in uh, uh, later then we have a control account reconciliation statement there are two things we need to make. First, we need to make an updated control account. Then we need to make an control account reconciliation statement. Now, if you may recall from your earlier studies of bank reconciliation, in a bank reconciliation question also, we need to make two things. First of all, we need to make an uh, updated cash book or known as updated bank account. Then we need to make a reconciliation statement such as bank reconciliation statement. So this is also somewhat similar. Uh, we need to make a control account reconciliation statement starting with balance as per list yes schedule of balances schedule of balances what does this mean we have already discussed this that if we have three customers uh, there are separate t account for mr a mr b and mr c we need to make a list of all these three customers and add all of these in order to get this balance balance as per list of debtors now there are some errors and adjustment in this also and in the top uh, format also now what errors come in uh, the problem lies here that what errors or adjustments are being covered or corrected by a control account and what errors and adjustments come in individual balances now there is a rule of thumb you need to remember and that is if the error is in day book or book of original entry or also known as book of prime entry now if the uh, error lies in a book of original entry the error needs to be corrected in the top section that is updated control account because uh, you are aware that the control account is made from the data that we are getting from books of account and now let me give you an example in a, a sale ledger control account we use the figure for uh, sales now where does the sale figure come from the sale figure comes from sales day book that is sales journal then we have a return inward figure return inward comes from return inward journal then we have cash a check cash or check received from sub, uh, customers the cash or check figure that are received from customers come from cash book then we have a discount allowed uh, column uh, in a cash book discount allowed total is also transferred to a control account then we have bad debts and contra adjustments these adjustments are extracted from a journal journal that is the journal which is also book of prime entry so if any of the error has been uh, occurred in a day book or book of original entry so it needs to be corrected in the top section and if the error lies in an individual customers or suppliers account this need to be corrected in a control account reconciliation statement so if the question says the error was in sales journal or purchase journal or general journal we need to correct it in a control account because control account is made from the total figures of a uh, book of original entry and if this says the error lies in mr a's account 
or Mr. B pays us and we uh, forgot to record in Mr. B's account, personal account. This means the correction comes in here that is uh, list of balances that is individual account. So this is based on basically sales ledger or purchase ledger whatever it is and this is based on journal ledger. So in journal ledger there comes the total figures and in the individual account that is sales or purchase ledger respectively there comes the individual figures now there are some adjustment that need to be put it uh, that need to be put in both of these uh, why because it says the question specifically asked that the examiner uh, forgots or the accountant forgets to make an entry altogether if the error is uh, or error of omission it will come in both of these it will also be corrected in a control account and it is also being adjusted in a list of balances now after we have corrected all of these errors uh, this balance carried down or this is the balance brought down will coincides with or match with this figure balance as per updated control account if these two figures are the same now this means that we have already successfully performed a control account reconciliation and the last thing I need to tell you that in the recent examination questions we have seen that the examiner does not use this format updated SLCA uh, examiner performs this part but not in this format what examiner does examiner makes two reconciliation statement one reconciliation is for uh, updated SLCA and another reconciliation is for balance as per schedule of debtors so examiner uses this format for both of these now in the first format we'll be starting with balance as per updated control account and then adding and uh, subtracting this and in the second format we'll be starting with balance as per list or schedule of debtors now if we use uh, reconciliation in both of these or if we use the the better format is if we use a uh, control account for this and make a reconciliation for this this does not make any difference the important thing is that at the end of the reconciliation both of these values are actually the same that is mr a plus mr b plus mr c should equals abc now i hope you i have uh, been able to communicate you uh, the concept underlying the control account reconciliation now if you understood this kindly do subscribe to my channel and uh, press the thumbs up button to this video and do write your comments thank you